Good morning, great dear friends, wonderful people, beautiful people. I welcome you once again this morning. Of course, today is the 21st day of January 2021, the year of our Lord. Of course, my name is Mazi E.K. Chukwonoha, and I am going to be your host this morning as always. Please permit me to welcome you, and of course, it is a warm good morning from me here in Johannesburg. Of course, from Johannesburg, we are reaching humanity across the four corners of the earth. So wherever you are this morning, please come and join us in this early morning breakfast. It is breakfast with Mazi Kechuku Onoha here on People of of the east what are you waiting for please come and join us because we are about to get into the thick of things it is early morning breakfast and you are all invited this is breakfast with Marcy K. Marcy on the house of the east of the east of the east of interaction in the it is an interactive breakfast show. It is a hot meal served. I'm telling you, served with dignity. Served under this platform. Of course, the platform, there is no other platform but Radio Biafra, the voice of the voiceless. This is where we preach the gospel of Chukwu Kikabiyama. This is where we preach the unadulterated gospel according to Chukwu Kikabiyama. And this morning, I want you to come and join me because we are here to do justice to that. But of course, I will not start without welcoming you wherever you are. Of course, wherever you are hearing the sound of my my voice. This is something that we do and we derive joy in doing it and we are going to do just that this morning. It is history month here on people of the east. It is our first month January of course. February is also history month but we are just starting up. Yesterday we of course had our competition and we had a winner. Of course the winner walked away of course the prize is still on its way the person haven't received the prize but they will surely receive the prize but they walked away with a recharge voucher of 1000 naira courtesy of our brother simon and um there you go that's the one our brother simon and you know of course he's the one sponsoring this competition and like i said you can also you know join in and sponsor this competition you are welcome if you want to join in and sponsor you can just inbox me on mike biafra ob mike biafra ob on facebook and of course we can take it from there and this morning once again we are going to go into yet another competition just to test your understanding of Biafra history but today we are focusing more on the tiger my goodness me the history of this man you know it, it brings tears running down my cheek it brings tears to my eyes the history of the tiger the selfless service to his nation even as at his heart at his height i mean the height of his career at the prime of his career it is unbelievable how the tiger abandoned everything and just came down home to serve his people can you imagine today telling somebody who is a soccer player all these our people who are playing football for the zoo can you imagine telling them no abandon the zoo come and join ipob never they will never try it in a million years because they are making their millions and so also are some of the politicians and also some of the athletics of course of biafran extra that are serving the zoo you cannot tell them to abandon that to come and uh, join the struggle they will never do that but the tiger still remain he still remain one and only of course somebody who served his nation till his death of course he left what he was doing he was the most powerful expensive boxer the world have ever known during his own time at his own pride but he left all those things behind come and join be a soldier he trained our military men 
My goodness me, where do I start? But so this morning, we want to talk about Dick Tiger. Because on your main coma, and you go makaya. On your main coma, and you go makaya. On your main coma, and you Dick Tiger has been a man that I emulate. He has been a man that his story stand out from the rest. So this morning, we are talking about Dick Tiger. As you know, it is a history month here on People of the East. We're taking you way back. That's what we're doing. Taking you way back to understand your history, to understand who you are. Because if you know your history, you will know where you are coming from. And it will help you to think ahead. But if you don't know your history, my brother, my sister, you are lost. As And that is why this morning we want to talk about our history, focusing on Dick Tiger. And then, of course, after that history is pose, we will then now, of course, you know, go straight to our competition and we will carry you along. So get ready, get prepared so that we can test your brain, we can test your understanding. Yesterday, so many people answered the question correctly on our whatsapp you know line unfortunately you know it was difficult because remember i cannot be on air and at the same time checking the messages on whatsapp most of the time it becomes a big hectic so i will advise you if you want to answer please call in and answer it will make more sense so that when i'm telling people that so 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 and so person won they will know indeed that that person called in. Because if you send me a message on WhatsApp and I go and tell people, no, Mr. A, send the answers on WhatsApp, it will look like why you. Yeah, this is the guy who is here. Mm-hmm. So, I may not call you open. Let it be open out there. If you call in, you answer. Humanity will listen and hear you. Even if I give you the, uh, what you, the prize when you have failed, people will know. If I give you the prize that you won, people will know. So let's do it here in the open because we are whiter than white. We are whiter than snow. We are IPOB for goodness sake. All right, we must continue. Once again, my name is Mazi Kechukwu Onoha. And I welcome you once again to this breakfast show. It is a great breakfast show. And of course, we're talking nothing else but Biafra this morning. So but before we continue, we need to do the needful. We need to pray. We need to invite Juku Kikabiaba because we need his presence. And without his presence, one one of them, there is nothing we can do. So let us pray this morning and then we can proceed. Let us pray. Allow me to worship Juku Kikabiaba on behalf of the entire family listening right across the length and breadth of this very planet. Umu Chineke. All of you who are ordained all of you who are destined to perform wonders, I welcome all of you. Now, I will present you to Chuku Kikabiyama in heaven. Therefore, our Father who resided in heavens above, looking down upon the pain and the suffering of your children, as was foretold by those who has gone before us, that a day will come when the world will gang up, when all the children of darkness will congregate to prevail against your children. That time is now. We are in pain. We are in so much suffering that man cannot begin to comprehend it. We ask for your mercy. We ask for you to come and present and provide a way where there is none. We ask you to kukika biama if we came a marani men do mugini ne the IPOB ne beni ne di chiche ruwe beni ne o wasotur ki ite magi ne beragi di kubaso ha uposi ne kendo ha o kwasi sueli igwe we call upon you this evening the vultures are congregating the saboteurs are rising up we are beginning to identify them. And we are dealing with them. We ask you to give us the strength. We ask you for courage. We ask you for every ounce of determination and resoluteness. Make us as hard as steel. As only you can do. Baptize us in your word, in your knowledge, in your truthfulness and in your strength. 
make it impossible for our enemies to come close to us destroy them before they come very close we will be tempted of course our defenses will be tried without a share of a doubt sometimes there may be breaches but in the end we prevail because that is your word and that is your promise this evening we hold on resolutely to that very command of yours your own spoken word the word that you gave to your children when you said to them that they should not worship any idol they should not bow before any graven image we have made mistakes in our lives we have bowed before european idols we have done everything but worship you in truth and honesty but now having realized the errors of our ways we present ourselves before you that you may do with us as you please so it was prayed thousands of years ago that same prayer we re-echo because we are nothing without you we are nothing without you we are nothing without you we can have the best defenses in the whole world we can procure the finest anti-jamming equipment available but it is you that will defend your inheritance you will defend Biafra you know that we are honest and truthful people you know that we preach this gospel in the knowledge that your children must be free in the land of the living that they may go back and worship you in zion as they have done thousands of years ago this is our prayer now and always because we are your children you can't abandon us to the forces of evil and darkness that is not your will and it can never be that is why today tomorrow and always as you have called us to undertake this very monumental and epic task as you have determined that your word must be preached in the land that very land you gave to our ancestors thousands of years ago so shall it be done in our lifetime allow us to be worthy to serve thee allow us to be considered worthy to serve you you know we speak the truth our enemies are liars they are kids and they are killers they are bloodthirsty bastards all of them all of them by known they have brought their lies to bear upon all their dealings their tongue is very spiteful against those of them who are righteous before your sight Please don't allow shame to befall your children. Don't allow shame to befall your name because we answer your name, we bear your name. That is why today we make this very prayer in the sure knowledge that Biafra will be restored as your own kingdom upon the face of the earth. That you will be worshipped every blessed day of our lives as our children will do and so will their children. Until time everlasting we have prayed in your name he said he said he said not going back on Biafra is restored all right let's go straight to history that is what we are all about today that is what we are all about this month and next month it is a history man i'm going to talk about dick tiger briefly and of course that will be my opening statement this morning i talk about the uh, dick tiger and then of course i will give you a very easy and simple question to answer for me this morning of course if you get it right then we will give you a prize it's as simple as that you cannot miss that all right let's continue we are talking about a great man we are talking about a man with an attitude a man like no other he is the tiger all right let's see what we know about the tiger or what we can talk about this brave Biafran man, this brave Biafran soldier. The tiger, of course, uh, he was born and he was known as Richard he too. And he was born on August the 14th, 1929. Um, 
he died in December 14th, uh, 1971. That's a coincidence. He was born on August 14th. He died in December 14, 1971. All right. Now, let's. that was actually immediately after the war. Now, the Tiger was a Biafran bomb professional boxer who held the world middleweight and world light heavyweight championship. My goodness me. All right, let me focus on that and go back to Facebook Live so I can put his boxing career there. Very, very important so that it will depict what I am talking about. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go back again to history about Dick Tiger. So he was... A beer from bomb professional boxer who held the world middleweight light heavyweight championship. The Tiger migrated to Liverpool in England to pursue his boxing career and later to the United States of America. The Tiger was an Igbo descendant of Biafra and served as a lieutenant in the Biafran army during the Nigerian Civil War. Primarily training soldiers in hand to hand combat. He was there in the Biafran army to train the soldiers. That's what we are saying. I'm going to say, 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 i am going to say 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 i am going to
just 2002 came boss here. Remember, in 2002 already, Muhammad Ali has been around. A lot of boxers has been around. But the Tiger was voted the Ring Magazine by Ring Magazine as the 31st greatest fighter of last 80 years. Unbelievable. All right, we must continue. Let's look at his professional career. The Tiger became a two-time undisputed world middle weight champion and helped keep boxing alive during the 1950s boxing industry recession. The Tiger won the world middle weight title when he beat Jenny Fulan. In 1962, and the light heavyweight title in 1966 when he dethroned Jose Torres of Puerto Rico. Prior to this accomplishment, however, the Tiger seemed condemned to poor management and a result, resulting lack of exposure in 1957. Using Liverpool as his fighting base, the Tiger was fighting on undercards for small purses very very well badly managed because he's a black man from africa it will always be the case facing off against popular favorite terry dons at shodit town hall he walked away with a technical knockout after six heels new management saw to eat certain errors in his style we are corrected and in another in another year, the Tiger has taken 17 of 19 fights and won the British middle weight title. In 1959, handled by the independent Jesse Jones, the Tiger came to America to face adversity in a whole new way. Jesse Jones, raising the influence of Madison Square Garden, brought Broke, deal, broke deals for Tiger by himself, which in the short run cost them both. In an independent promotion of Edmont, 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 all right, let me get it straight. At Edmonton, Alberta, Alba, Tiger's empire belt was lost in a more than questionable 15 round nod to local challenger Will Greaves. The decision as rendered had first been called a draw, appalled. Jones demanded a, a recount of the cards, which boomeranged, showing the fights dominated by Tiger as a win for Greaves. Tiger, since, Tiger, sincere and honorable in his dealings, often found his virtuous approach not reciprocated, particularly in North America. A.J. Liblin, impressed in witnessing Tiger in 1962 performances versus Henry Hank of Detroit, described the fighter's appearance thus, a chest like an old-fashioned black office safe, dropping away to a slandered waist, big ties, and slender legs. He boxed classically, his arms tight against his sides at the beginning of a punch. He savagely, methodically blows, moving in short acts and straight lines. All right, we must continue. Such a description was si sim similar, similarly revoked abruptly in simpler times by Tiger's contemporaries, Jen Former. Tiger was a rough guy. I went to Nigeria to fight him. And of course, I don't know what happened over there. He beat me. He beat me badly. My mother and father could have been judge and referee. <laughs> and I couldn't have won a round. <laughs> Joey Godley, I thank Dick Tiger because Dick Tiger was a man and Dick Tiger gave a little shot to me. He didn't have to give it to me. He could have given it to somebody else. An additional comment from this award, the people who he defeated, we are saying about Dick Tiger. An additional comment from Gadelio in the form of a sarcasm. Bon Mott showed contemporary respect for Tiger as a fellow battler. The pair fought four times in all. The last two of the the last two of these in swamping a middleweight heavy middleweight title. Every fight went the dis, went the distance, meaning that in terms of the comments, 
in terms of Dick Tiger and Joe Gadlio, contended face to face for two and a half hours prior to one of these better encounters. When asked by the press if Gladelio, a classic boxer, planned to trade punches with Tiger, Gladelio squeaked this weight. I wouldn't trade stamps with him. All right. So there are numerous accounts of the Tiger and what he was able to accomplish. Now let's see his retirement. This is the part that actually got me crying. This is the part that actually got me emotional. But before I go to that part of the Tiger's retirement, let me look at this account of course this is one of his achievements after decision jose to raise to win with honors tiger then defended his crown against torres and montana rogers rose before coming up short against veteran bob foster of abiqué new mexico the left hook foster used a dethroned tiger used to dethrone tiger in an instant was rated among the 10 deadliest punches of the last 25 years in 1975. The power in the knockout made such an impact upon garden promoters. It was, it was felt that a rematch would do poor business. This attitude forced Tiger to contend for the right to against his crown and saw him match against up and come f and come and come a franklin de polo who was coming off live consecutively knockout the fight for qualifier against foster was for its first four round a walk which all right let me stop here and let me go to this last part and this last part is very emotional now retirement and death after retiring from boxing, listen, listen to this, and I want you to pay close attention. This is very painful. After retiring from boxing, Tiger worked as a guard at the Metroleum Museum of Art in New York. Did you understand what I'm saying? After retiring from boxing, he, the Tiger worked as a, as a security guard. Try after retiring from boxing, Dick Tiger worked as a security guard at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. This is unbelievable. One day, he felt a strong pain in his back. Tested by doctors, he was diagnosed with liver cancer. He had been banned by the Nigerian government in his country because of his involvement in the Biafran movement. However, the ban was lifted immediately after news about his condition arrived in Nigeria. He died of liver cancer on 14 December 1971 at the age of 42. May his soul rest in perfect peace. What a gallant soldier. What a soldier. And we love him so much. So, today in history, we talked about the tiger, the greatest of them all the greatest Biafran soldier. My goodness, man, I don't even know how to quantify Dick Tiger for all his achievement and all his, you know, selfless sacrifice to his nation as a, as a soldier, you know, in and off the, uh, the, the sports arena. All right, so this is all about the Tiger this morning. And of course, like I said, because it is history month, we are talking about our heroes. We are talking about people who have made impact in this struggle even before some of us were born and we are remembering them this morning. We are remembering them all today. All right, we must continue. It is to Radio Biafra, Sadek. Of course, we are the people of the East. I am going to take a quick break, but before before I do that, I want to give us the question for today so that when we go on break, you will keep on pondering on it. You will keep on searching for the answer. And when we come back, we will open our lines after our news. And then you can now give us your answers. If you know the answer, you can call in and tell us what you think is the answer. Who knows? You might win a prize. All right. What is the question for today? A very, very simple question. Now... This is what I want to know. On what month and year was Oweri recaptured from the Nigerian troop? On what month 
That's right. On what month and date, okay, you give me the month, you give me the date and the year that Owere was recaptured from the zoo army. And who is the army? Um, is he, is he, let me see what is his rank here. Let me see what is his rank here so that I don't get it wrong. One second, one second. I need to know what is the rank of this man very very important so that it can help us um all right where is it where is it where is his rank very all right there we go there we go there we go all right let's continue now my question is on what months and dates and year was Oweri recaptured from the zoo army Oweri was taken or where it was taken but it was recaptured back now i want to know what month and date and year was Oweri recaptured back from the zoo army and who was this army major who was this army major that led that assault on Oweri? who was that army major that led that assault that recaptured over back from the zoo army i hope it is clear i hope you understood let me take it for the last time my question is very simple it's just like this which month and dates and year was already recaptured back from the zoo army and who was the army major that led that assault that saw over being recaptured back from the zoo army all right so that is very simple i mean you can get this one even if you're sleeping you open your eyes just get it all right we will take a quick break and when we return we will open our lines and we will go straight taking your questions and of course rather your answers and of course your contribution this morning this is radio biafra sadek we are the people of the east and this was my opening statement it has become a part of me but we must continue it is radio biafra sadek we are people of the east of course these are the numbers to call let's get rolling you can call us on plus two seven six three two seven two one two double five plus two seven six three two seven two one two double five we are also on whatsapp plus two seven seven four zero six seven eight four one two or you can call us on skype radio biafra sadek is where we at radio biafra is one word it is radio biafra sadek but before you call before you call i have some new news for you i have some news for you as you know we try as much we can to give you news on this platform so that you can follow so that you can know what is happening around you so this morning news was brought to you by wada Chidemerem Emmanuel Adabiafra. So pay close attention. Let us see what she have for us this morning as far as the news is concerned. It is time for the news here on People of the East. Good morning, fellow Biafran friends of Biafra and lovers of freedom. You all will come back once again to Radio Biafra Sadek News Report. Today being the 21st day of January 2021, and I am Wada Chisum at the Biafra. Listen to today's news headlines and the stories in details. Breaking Biden sworn in as a 46th US president. Joe Biden on Wednesday became the 46th president of the United States, vowing a new day for the United States after four years of turmoil under Donald Trump, who in an extraordinary final act snubbed the inauguration. Two weeks to the day after Trump's supporters violently rampaged at the U.S. Capitol to overrun the election result. Biden took the oath on the same very step alongside Kamala Harris, who was sworn in moments earlier as the first woman vice president. Wiki pledges 500 million naira support for victims rebuilding of Bond Sokoto Market. Governor Yeson Wiki on Wednesday announced a pledge of 500 million naira as River State government support towards rebuilding the Sokoto Central Market cutted by fire on Tuesday and to assist affected traders to get back on their feet. Mazinam Dekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, congratulates 
President Joe Biden on his Twitter handle. He wrote, and I quote, Congratulations to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as you assume the mantle of leadership of the free world. Remember those yearning for freedom in Africa, best of luck, unquote. Protest as Delta policeman kills mother and child while chasing Yahoo boys. Angry protesters have taken to the streets streets in Worry, Delta State, after policemen attached to the Ibromeda Division killed a woman and her little child while they were trying to arrest some suspected internet for stars. The woman and her daughter were crushed by the vehicle used by the policemen who drove recklessly in pursuit of the four stars, otherwise known as Yahoo Boys. The policemen escaped immediately when they saw that a crowd was coming after them. The angry mob set ablaze the Hilos van during the protest. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazinami Khan, will broadcast on Friday morning, 22nd January 2021 at 9 a.m. Biafran time on Facebook and other platforms. Questions will be taken via his authentic Twitter page at Mazinam De Kano with 252,000 followers. January and February are history month on Biafra Rising. We are having a history month competition which will start on Monday. We ask the question, if you know the answer, all you have to do is to call in and answer. If you were able to get it right, you will win a Richard voucher, in other words, a time. Competition exclusive to those in Biafra land. Best of luck to everyone. Here comes to the end of the news. Please join us on Monday for another edition of the news. Once again, I am Wada Chisum at the Biafra. For interaction on people of the East, call people of the East now. Plus two seven six three two seven two one two double five. Plus two seven six three two seven two one two double five. Or you can call us on Skype. Radio Biafra Sadek. Radio Biafra is one word. Radio Biafra Sadek. This is Radio Biafra Sadek. And we are the people of the East. Johannesburg is where you at. This is Radio Biafra Sonic. Johannesburg is where you at. And we are the people of the East. Indeed, so we are the people of the East. It is Radio Biafra Sadek, the first and the last. That's what Radio Biafra is. We are the voice of the voiceless. We speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. We represent millions of Biafra worldwide. That is what we do, and we do it to the best of our ability. Therefore, welcome if you are just joining us right now. We are getting straight to rule. We are getting straight to rock and roll. Of course, it is our company petition time what are you waiting for join the interaction now if you know the answer what you have to do is very simple ring me on now and tell me the answer the question i asked was very simple and i'm going to repeat that question again for the interest of those who did not hear for the interest of those who did not understand or comprehend let's do it again right i ask a question on what month and date and year did uh, um, did, was Oweri recaptured back from the hands of the Zoo Army during the Civil War? On what month, on what date and year was Oweri recaptured back from the Zoo Army? And who was the major who actually led that assault? 
So if you know the answer, you know what to do. You just have to ring me up and tell me what month, what date, what year, and who is the major that led that assault that actually resulted, you know, where they're being recaptured back from the zoo army. You can call me on plus two seven six three two seven two one two double five plus two seven six three two seven two one two double five or you can call me on whatsapp plus two seven seven four zero six seven eight four one two plus two seven seven four zero six seven eight four one two we are also on uh, skype you can call me on skype our skype id is radio biafra sadek that's right radio biafra sadek that is our skype ID Radio Biafra is one word, and of course, it is Radio Biafra Sadek. So, our lines are open. I don't know if this line is on. I don't know. I just need to check. It looks like it's down the main line, but of course, our WhatsApp line is definitely functioning at the moment. But I will figure out what is going on with this line. So, yes, our lines are busy, our lines are buzzing, and we will continue to take your call. So, let's test our understanding, let's test our intelligence with regards to Biafra history. You need need to know your history you need to know where you are coming from very very important because if you don't know your history one all right let me see if i can take this no he is not available anymore caller on the main line are you are still there are you still there can you hear me no he cannot hear me he cannot hear me we must continue and of course we will continue to take your call let me see if i can rectify this line there is a bit of an issue all right let's see if we can rectify this very very important all right caller on the line can you hear me now caller on the line are you yes, Lord, I can hear you very well. Good, Good morning, morning from here, watching AK. Please go ahead. Be a friend of My name is Mazi Okudere Ebesi. I'm calling from Maputo, Mozambique. I will never again. Watching AK. <laughs> never, please go ahead. <laughs> so, um, this, I believe this question is not for Mozart in the industry. Yes, it and is I don't not. Want to it say is not. Yes. Bless you for your good work. May you call Ghana and bless the man I love so much. Mazen Nande Kano. Who is in IPOB, Maputo, Mozambique? We are formidable. IPOB is formidable all over the world. I want the zoo to know that they can never win this election of IPOB. We are formidable. We will invite this five to we, we get the Afra. Thomas Dikech, who one day we would like to invite you to Mozambique to come and see the formidable IPOB. With all pleasure. With all pleasure. I will come through. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mazi. Ndewo. I sign up from here, Maputo, Mozambique. Ndewo, my neighbor. That is my neighbor from Maputo, Mozambique. Call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Call her on WhatsApp. Yes, I, yes, I can hear you. Please go ahead. Do you know the answer? Give it to us. Okay. Uh, my name is Hugo Marav, I'm calling from Musoka. Yes, go ahead, Mazi. Then who stayed? The Afro land, yeah. 2nd September to 15th October 1968. And it was led by Ogubu, Ogubu Kalu, Lambert, Ihanacho, Joseph, I today, EA, and E2. All right, Mazi, keep listening. Keep listening to see if you are the winner. At the end of the show, we will announce the winner. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, sir. They will. All right, we must continue. He said it's in September. Uh, of course, we don't know. We will know at the end of the show. That's why I'm asking. At the end of the show, we will know who is the winner or who got it right. Call her on Skype. Are you there? Can you hear me? Call her on Skype. Can you hear me? Call her on Skype. All right. He is not following. You cannot be listening to me and at the same time you are listening to yourself. 
it is unacceptable unacceptable if you must call us please you need to turn off your radio or walk away from your radio so that we can hear each other very very important let me see again call her on whatsapp i've picked your call call her on whatsapp can you hear me no, he cannot hear me. It appears I've missed him, the caller on WhatsApp. But we must continue. You can call us back again. I did pick your call, but I wasn't sure what the problem is. So we are asking, what month, what date and year it was already recaptured back from the zoo army during the Biafran's Nigeria Civil War? And who was the major who led that assault to recapture over back from the hands of the zoo army tell me the month tell me the date tell me the year and tell me the major and of course you might walk away with a, a mouth watering price this morning you never know just give it a try all right we must continue it is true radio biafra sadek we are the people of the east you know now and then the lines becomes a bit digital the zoo line sometimes becomes an issue but definitely sometimes people will still get through and when you do get through of course we will be here to ensure that we take take your call we would definitely do that because that is what we are here to do all right um let me see who is calling on skype very very important unbelievable call on skype just one second for me hold on call on skype all right let's go call on skype can you hear me people of the east good morning uh, good morning uh, Mazi, please go ahead good little from moscow thank you uh, very much um indeed uh, this is mazra for w indicum i come from omaka in omo province biafra land but i live and serve the indigenous people biafra here in russia as the national coordinator Thank you very much. Uh, Mazi, anytime you are broadcasting, most of the time when we are not hearing your voice, or maybe when there are uh, some uh, difficulties on the system, you always say that uh, you, need, you need to ratify, that is to find out the, that is to resolve the problem. Yes. Uh, I tell that you, you, you are a lawyer. When did you tend to be an engineer? <laughs> Mazi, you have no idea what I do. Trust me when I tell you. And I love, I love, I love doing the things I do at the background. I do a lot. When it comes to system, I learn so much. And there's a lot that I'm doing now with regards to our systems, which if I tell you, you'll be amazed. But of course, like I said, I got a one on jack of all trade. So we contribute what we can. I do a bit of a, a boat, you know. I do the system. Um, thank you to Mazio Former. He is my boss. He teaches me a lot with regards to the server, the system, the back end, and I'm getting better at it. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you so much for clarification. Uh, then I I I I a lot of things uh, that we don't know every day on daily basis on this uh, radio platform. Uh, we are learning learning a lot of things, both uh, the teachings and the even that is, and also uh, the actions of the um, the broadcasters, the people that are handling the program. So I pray that may Elohim will uh, continue to increase and also your wisdom and knowledge and also strengthen not only you, all the people that are working just on all our media platform. You see, okay, indeed, we are so much appreciate you guys because without you guys, we where we are today and what we know today, we cannot know it. So, and that is uh, the work of Mazen Nandikano. He is the hero of our time, the person, the man that give us voice, the man that you remember the, the voiceless, the motherless, the widows, the people that I don't know want to speak on to speak for them. When our so called elite and politicians, even politicians are enjoying in Abuja every month, they receive millions. They don't care about the poor masses in their village around their corner. They only came back on private gate and then walk around and put their generator. After one week, they go back. 
So, but this man, Martin Mandekano, is a prophet of time that God gave him to us. It's a pity that some stupid people, people that in many of the flavor are still messing up, are still, are still trying to bring him down. But unfortunately, Hannah Akaka Natipa, brother. Because uh, um, when, that is when nobody can be able to put down whom God has blessed. God has blessed him, and God will lead him to the promised land, which is Biafra. So, fellow Biafra, actually, uh, the question this morning is, um, I, I know that it's for the people at home. So, but in, in any case, I, I believe that uh, the luckiest person will get it, get the answer and also, and also the prize. Absolutely. Yes, we that are here in diaspora, we want to remind all of us concerning our, our volunteer forces that are in the forest for us. We are here having the light 24 hours, good roads, um, good environment, um, water, everything, they here in diaspora. So I, I know that uh, if you can remember that, I would just say that the people that are in, that, in diaspora, we sponsor this war. The people that are in diaspora, we, uh, that is, we will, if we can be able to join hands together, we can be able to even sponsor this war, even for a thousand years. So, because as we, uh, as our brother um, and comrade, uh, Mazoke for Nalu said that, uh, so when there is division of labor, so uh, I'm just going to remind all of you. All right. Thank you very much, Mazi. They were watching again. I pray that uh, Elohim will help us and also we can be able to do the need for at the right time. Thank you, Mazi, for having me. Thank you very much, as always. They were watching again. Of course, we welcome that and we must continue. All right. Caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Caller on WhatsApp. Please go ahead. Where can I go? Yes, Mazi, go ahead. Okay, thank you for giving me this opportunity, Mazike. No. So, my brother, uh, thank you for the kind of question. Thank, thank you for the kind of question you are trying out. I think I can go on. Yes, go ahead. Be are friends are listening. Okay. Uh, Mazike, good morning from here, from Amelia. My name is Simon. I am calling from Amelia Space. Good morning from here. Please uh, go ahead. Uh, we are waiting to preparing to hear from our leader, our able leader, Mazin and the county tomorrow. He gonna come to give us the word of uh, the word of courage and word of truth, so that we can continue our mission, mission of freedom, because there's nobody gonna stop it. Uh, again, uh, what is the case? The question is, the question is true, and he said it's only for people in the in Biafra land, uh, people in Biafra uh, land. I hope, I hope this thing, uh, I hope this thing will make our people to go into more research. You know, some part of us, some of us, the, the little school we went to, the history wasn't there. They took everything out. Uh, they took everything out. They think we don't have history. Uh, the person you are calling his name, the tiger, is our brother. It's very close to our place. And also, the people in Jaffa land, this is your opportunity. It's just a talk for you just to do it, for you to be, to do research, you know. To know who you are because they think we don't have issue. We have, we have a lot. Up to 1475. Our, 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 our issue is there. But the enemy come to uproot everything. But uh, thank God people like Mars Linkage who are coming up with something, at least to refresh our memory. The children who also participate, anything they want to know now, they are in a, in a big chance to know it. So Mars Linkage who Thank you very much. Continue what you are doing. One thing we know here is that no matter what the enemy do, Biafra must be restored because yes, we are not in our enemies. You know, I see my brother, uh, uh, I'm asking you, hey, we are, we are in <laughs> most of us, we do many things. Of you know, this is one thing the enemy, when they see in us, they know our potential, they become scared because we can do everything. You understand? We can do everything. You know, so 
We will continue. We are here, we are here. There's nothing they will do to exterminate us. And I also want to use this opportunity to congratulate uh, the new American president. Uh, yesterday, when I was watching the, the inauguration, what is the music they sing? They sang yesterday, Amazing Grace. They sang Amazing Grace, the music of John Luton. After they have done a lot of atrocity, but they still ask God to forgive them. So let us extend the house of friendship. You understand? But if anyone coming to disturb what we are doing or to stop us, they will go away with them, no matter who they are. We have been doing this thing, we have been asking for our freedom before we have them come to power. And uh, I know one thing. Nobody can gonna give us Biafra. It is only the Chukwu Okike Adiyama and our effort and what we demand because we want to come in water. We have demand for the freedom and we're gonna get it. There's nothing anybody can do about it. Thank you very much. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I think uh, there's one thing I said for you there, so I'm gonna take it. No problem, I will do that. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, man. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much, and of course, we welcome that. We must continue. Our lines are still open, and the competition, of course, is still on and ongoing, and you can call us now and be part of this competition. Of course, we know there are issues with the lines, maybe, uh, 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 I mean, connections, connectivity as far as the zoo is concerned, but we definitely must continue and we will be taking your calls this morning i don't know call on the line can you hear me call on the line are you there can you hear me no he cannot hear me a bit of an issue with the lines this morning i don't know what is uh, the problem all right if you are in biafra land this competition is for you we encourage you to call it doesn't mean that uh, people in diaspora cannot call they can call as well anybody everybody can call just know that the competition specifically is only for those who are in biafra land and the question we are asking this morning is very simple uh what months date and year uh, was Owere recaptured back from the zoo Remember, Owere was taken by the zoo army during the war, but later it was recaptured. Now we want to know what date, what month, of course, and what year was it taken back. All right, let's go back to the lines. Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yeah, good morning. Deo Wamachineke, good morning. Please go ahead. Your names and where you calling from? My name is Snap. My name is Oteka Ono. I'm calling from Amsterdam. Ndewo. Please go ahead, Mazi. Yeah, I just want to... I don't have much to say. I just want to appreciate you. Thank you for the work you are doing. And uh, thank all our principal officer, DOS, and uh, our great leader, Mazi Nandikano, for the wonderful work he is doing for Ndewo. us to thank bring light to our people. Yeah, so... Uh, that is it. They will watch it again. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right, we must continue, of course. He just called, of course, to say, you know, well done to the work we are doing. But, of course, what we are doing is what we are supposed to be doing. You know, we are not doing it uh, for any other reason, but for the same reason whereby you are doing the same thing you are doing so that Biafra will be restored. Don't forget, tomorrow morning, being Friday, the 22nd day of January, our leader will be live on air. It is going to be question and answer of course like he normally does but tomorrow is going to be an exceptional one and of course you don't want to miss that so tune into your radio I mean he's going to be on every platform very very important very very important so get your listening devices you can catch him on IPOB community radio he's going to be there live and co uh, live and direct and of, of course he's going to be on his Facebook platform platform so get your listening device ready 
and of course listen to our leader tomorrow very very important all right we must continue our lines are still open and we are still taking your calls this morning this is radio biafra sadek we are the people of the east and make no mistake we are not stopping we are not surrendering but we are pushing we are moving forward. Let me see who I have on Skype. Call on Skype. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Watch your neck. What's the problem from here? There. Well, good morning from here, Mazi. Please go ahead. There. Well, I yes. Thank you. I greet dear friends all over the world. Friends of dear friend, lovers of freedom. I salute you. Our leader, Mazi Namdekano. I salute you. Good morning from here. I'm Rabbi Charles, speaking from my location. Mazi, you made mention of. Uh, boxing that's what actually got my attention that's why i'm here yes <laughs> go ahead please i, I am not uh, going to go into the quiz but i just want to uh, say something about uh, our brother uh, they call him big tiger and uh, i i know back in the days they call him big tiger big tiger alusim pitawa somebody made a song with his name in those days it's a local song so I know him, but I know his name, and uh, I don't know him personally, but I saw the picture of him. I read about him, and um, this actually brought me to, uh, because I, I've been into boxing, I wasn't privileged to go to international arena due to political issues and so many other factors, but uh, I, have been in, I have been into boxing. I, I do train. I, there is lockdown, so we don't train at the moment where I am. But uh, I want to speak about boxing. Um, we, Biafra, in, in, from the beginning, happens to be we are the most strongest among the people down there. We, we, I mean, I'm talking of Biafrans. We are very good in sports. I, I, I don't know about this generation now. Our leader used to call the generation Indomie gener generation. We, Biafrans have produced most boxers. And most sports people, if you mention sports, you if you if you if you mention if you come to if you come to sports world in Africa, you will see that the names you will be hearing are their friends. If, from boxing, we know about Obisi Wampa. After I know him, that one I know him. I remember him very very well when he was fighting. I was just a small boy watching him. I have been into boxing. I love boxing. Yes, but even, above, even, what I'm, uh, even um, Mazi, even um, the first black man, the first black man to ever win a gold medal in an Olympic game, you know who he is? He's um, I think Oliver Rock. No, 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 no. He's uh, not him. It's Ifajuna. <laughs> Ifajuna. Really? Yeah, Ifajuna in um, in, in athletics. I think it was long jump. Ifajuna was the oh, first black man in Africa, in the world, to win a gold medal. And then he later on, you know, great people sometimes always end up very miserably. Go ahead, please. Zu Ebugai. Zu Ebugai. Many people think it's only crude oil and gas. Natural talent, boxing, and so many. Look at all, if you go into the world of sports in that country, you can't do without. Jejo Kocha, Kano Wangpo, this, uh, this, all these people, George Pinidi, them, Tom Sinoliha, you can't do without them. Chris Ohehe, these are, if you trace them, they are their friends. You can't do, you can't do with uh, Oliver Rock, the one that won Olymp Olympic game, Olymp Olympic game for weightlifting. I, 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 from Calabar, I can't be, I, can, I, I, I think I'm sure, pretty sure, from Calabar, Cross, Cross River State. If you see Oliver Rock, I saw him in person. If you see him in person, you're gonna you're gonna run away. His appearance is scary. Very, he look like a rock. And many others. You can you he, he, me, Melio, Melio he, he, All these are their friends. The Nigerian did what silence them, not not remembering them. Look at Ndukubade, who signed contract, who won the Kodak World Cup in China. He is 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 Nigeria abandoned him in Israel, and so many other. Other athletes, besides the boxers that like, they know Igbo people, Abba, when you talk of boxing in those days, you say go to Abba. Everybody knows that. That is where you get boxers. But when I look at our leader, he has a boxing, a boxer mentality. A 
a boxer doesn't show you when you hit him, when you hit him or punch him in his weaker area. Our, uh, a boxer that he, a boxer even when you knock him out, if he gets up, makes a comeback, he doesn't believe that you can succeed knocking him out. He will make a comeback. But a boxer is disciplined. Boxer, when they tell you they're going to knock you out, they will knock you out. If you listen to Muhammad Ali, ever if, if whenever you want to fight. He will tell the opponent, he say, I'm going to knock you out and there is nothing you can do about it. And eventually he will do. So when I look into boxing, I look into what our leader is doing. I, I honestly speaking, if I am a blind man, I hear our leader talking, I will ask you, is that, is that, is this man a boxer? Because he has a boxing, a boxer mentality. A boxer believe that he will, that he, a boxer believe one thing. He, he, he may be down, but he's not out. He's going to make a comeback. And he's going to give you what you're looking for. Like he said, I will be back. And when I'm coming, I will bring her with me. All right. Thank you very channel. much, Mazi. Thank you for that. We welcome that, of course. You have spoken a lot. Well. All right. Let's see who is Halarian on NDP. Let's see who is on Skype. But before we go to Skype, Mazi, uh, okay, for him, please hold on for me. I think I have somebody... Um, what do you call it? On WhatsApp. I will get back to you right now. Call on WhatsApp. Are you still there? Call on WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Good morning. I'm here. Well, please, your name uh, and where you calling from? Uh, I'm Moses. Moses. Moses Asando. Call on from Anambra State. I'm Moses. Please go ahead. Uh, please. Uh, 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 let me just uh, answer your question. By okay. all means, man. By all means, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's 15th October 1968, and the and the person that made this is was uh oh 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 I want to encourage you to keep listening. Uh, at the end of the okay. program, of course, we will announce the winner. So if you are the winner, you okay. will know that. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nick. All right. Nah, we'll call it. We'll call it all right, so we must continue. All right, uh, call out on Skype. If you can hear me, Mazik, please go ahead. Yeah, my beloved brother, comrade, good morning from Warsaw, Poland. I remain okay for the military corona, okay? And I hear from Omaka in all the province of Biafra land. Yeah. I appreciate our warning the Mazin Namdioko Khan commanders, our members, and all his lieutenants, the fanatical Biafrans. Radical Biafrans, men of all everywhere you are, we appreciate all of you, especially our people defending our motherland. We appreciate you. But we are talking about our Biafrans who has made the impact in the past, even presently. Absolutely. But you don't remember some, somebody like uh, Power Mike in MOD now. How okay. no, does he has a place? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, be say yeah, well, history, <laughs> yeah, well, history <laughs> month, January and February. Gain a music as if in a is overnight. Miss will take a time for you, yeah. So cool, or down. Go ahead, please. We <laughs> watch all of them are there. There are a lot of them, as in a in a in a in a in a leak is our secret in a is a spoon. Cool, or down. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, my but see, I just called to, I don't know if you listen to the new brother, you about our brother who was kidnapped to pay three. 3 million naira. And uh, why I called it to let Biafra know that uh, we have to be very, very prepared about what is happening in this uh, Bini Lagos Road. Mars is becoming an eyesore, a nightmare. But we thank God that our, our, our ESN is everywhere in Biafra land. And very, very soon I think that nonsense will stop because that kidnap that Bini, Bini Lagos Road something has to be done and done fast there because this this is where this idiot are camping and and uh, some uh, with the help of some police officers uh, bad uh, rotten eggs in the, the zoo police and army about uh, this is what they do 
Because from what that our brother say is the is crystal clear that uh, there are people behind that. You know, like, so something has to be done on that respect. Absolutely. Man, I don't have what to say because so the quiz are not for us. I only have to announce our people. Man, I sent you something about the uh, uh, coastal region ESN. Mazi. As in, please go ahead and help me. Yeah, since you are now on air, you can go ahead and do the needful. Please. What we want to tell our people from coastal region, they have their group, they have where they pay their money. I uh, will send it after you just call the number for them. I can't do that. It's too long. And about our Nyoma WhatsApp group, please. All of you from our Nyoma, uh, this is an area that needs urgent attention. Our Nyoma. Uh, do all this area, we need to cover the, the important as good as uh, Afibo. We need to cover Afibo very, very well because in him and Weber, I say Penitent or Biafala and the other Afibo, Musuka, all this area, and we are trying our best to make sure that uh, by grace of Elohim, in few weeks, in another 10 days or so, all this area will be covered. By what I mean by that, make sure that they're hearing this gospel. The radio is very important. Uh, the number for Anioma people, please, in diaspora, please don't call this number. If you are in Nigeria or you are in the zoo or you are in Biafra land, it's not for you. It's Anioma in diaspora, IP will be under the leadership of Bazin Nambi You call this number and join your people and do the need for plus 39-349-816-2312. I will repeat. Plus 39-349. 816 2312. This is for normal people and for our missing people, which is very, very important because our abductions now that are ongoing in Biafra and everywhere. You know, they have a lot everywhere in Biafra and now it's prison, prison, prison. That's the only industry that giving us that where they kill our people outside the world that are taking away to Niger, the all the even Bono, not a part of the country. Please you call this number for the missing people, submit whatever that is needed. The number is plus nine seven one. Five two two nine two nine seven two three. I will repeat it again for missing persons plus nine seven one five two two nine two nine seven two three. You bring one his photograph number two thing is his full name and number three is his state of origin and the last but not this number four. The last time you saw him, the date you saw that person last. Leave all the rest for for the for IPOB, please. Do the need for Thank you very much, Mazi. Because there are a lot of announcements. I go to another platform. Thank you, Sandra. All right. Thank you very much for that. We welcome that. Next call on the line. Can you hear me? Call on the line. Are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? Mazi? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Okay. Go ahead, one them. Absolutely. So Thank you.
see here the passion you know i can just hear the passion that's a powerful one indeed all right you must continue with this here radio be here for us we are the people of the east call her on whatsapp can you hear me call her on whatsapp please go ahead good morning from here good morning my brother Devo. Yesterday, you know, you know, I'm telling you, Mazi. Can you one of the 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 the one of the The line was happening. The line was blazing, and of course, we can only take you know a few. Unfortunately, yes, yes. Thank you I, I understood, my brother. I understood. Thank you so much for picking my call. Marzi, all, what I want to say is that uh, concerning um, these people that are still running around the bush, somebody will see the truth. Instead of that person to say it the way it is, you'll be running around, 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 and the truth is there. Looking at, uh, looking at that. Mazi, have you seen that Mazi Namdekan has been vindicated? You see, when this man was shouting about Fulani, Fulani terrorists, what these people are doing in doing, the way these people are inside was killing people, some, some, some of us think that this, this man is talking. Today, Mazi Namdekan has been vindicated. Look at what is happening in Yoruba land. That a sitting governor gave Fulani this man seven days to quit in New York and, and, and this man they call the uh, um, 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 uh, 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 Garuba Show said the said Fulani Fulani must stay that means the government of Nigeria knows what these people are doing the government of Nigeria is sponsor, sponsoring Mieti Allah to be killing people going, going to his going inside the bush to make sure that anybody they, they, they meet in the in the farm, they will kill the person or they will kidnap the person. Well, I thank you to him to go catch them and that this is happening in our eyes and everybody is seeing it. So anybody who is going to come out tomorrow and say, hey, why is it the American down the kind of um, uh, story yet and without the um, uh, um, um, authorization from the, from the government? Who is this governor? In our eyes, we have shown a letter written by IPOB. To these governors, signed by Lina Mazin Nandikano, for them to do as of May, May, May last, last year. For them to do something to make sure they provide a, a 
Thank you very much, Machineke. Leo. Hello? All right. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Are you still there? Can you hear me? Are you still there, Mazi? Can you hear me? All right, I don't know what exactly went on there, but I think I lost our brother. I lost our brother from Austria. But of course, you can call us back, my brother, if you still want to finish up. Call her on WhatsApp. Are you still there? Can you hear me? Our competition is still going on, and I'm still waiting for answers. I am still waiting for answers. The question I asked was very simple, and I'm going to repeat that question again. If you know the answer, please come up and tell us the answer. What we want to know is on what month, of course, as well as what year and date, you know, was already recaptured back from the Sioux Army, and who was the major who led that assault. Very, very important. Call on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Call on WhatsApp. Marzi Kechuku, good morning from here. Marzi Kechuku, can you hear me? <laughs> Loud and clear, Marzi. Please go ahead. Marzi Kechuku, good morning from here. Yes, Marzi, go ahead. I can hear you. My name remember. My name remembers Philip Popo. Mazi Philip Popo, I have for me HOA. HOA is in our Chukuloko government, Omaya province. And I'm residing in Aba, here in Aba province. Mazi Ketchuko, I want to use this opportunity to greet our leader, Ngokukwa, the prophet of our time, the teacher of our time. The great pastor, the great pastor of our time. I'm not talking of those pastors that prophesy that Messiah has come. The Buhari has come, their Messiah. I'm not talking of them, but I'm talking of the only and only man, our leader, Maze Nandekano Wokukwa. Um, I like this uh, topic you raised this morning, but there is problem we are having here in Aba. Mazi Ketchuku, please, uh, our radio here in Aba is not okay. Our radio Biafra, radio Biafra London here in Aba is not okay. I'm listening to via satellites since, since, since 12 December, the day our leader make a broadcast. Uh, since that day, the radio is no longer talking. I've been shouting and shouting. This thing happened the same thing when Imam Mezu and his colleague go out of this struggle. Our radio stopped. Before you know it, another channel was raised beside our radio, which is Radio Biafra International. They start shouting everywhere, and our radio go off. When I know how we suffer, battle the radio, the take away their transmitter in Aba. Now, which... All right, Mazi, I think we have gotten your complaint. We have gotten your complaint, Mazi. We have gotten your complaint, and of course, we will look into it. Thank you very much, Mazi. Our leader is coming on air tomorrow. We cannot hear him. Mazi, Mazi, I said we have gotten your complaint. And we will of information, course. please, Mazi, permit me to finish. There is a, a yeah. Mazi, there is no time. Time Hello. is time is of essence, Mazi. You need to wrap it up. Time is of essence, please. Oh okay. Oh, okay, let me summarize. There is a man we went to Ihechawa on Ihechawa IPOB meeting on fourth January. 
during our meeting, a man came in there when we were about to start and scatter our meeting, carry our cola notes, throw it away, asking us who gave us authority to start to, to come meeting in in this venue without his own notice. He scatter a cola notes, scatter every door the chairs. His name is Joseph Carlo. Joseph Carlo, his number is 081. Mazi, 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 Mazi. You, you, you are from a unit, right? And you have a coordinator, is that correct? Yes, sir. All right, I will need you to go and speak to your coordinator. He knows what to do. And he knows where to take this problem to, all right? Okay, sir. All right, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Mazi. Mazi, God bless you. Thank you very much, and God bless you too, Mazi. And uh, make no mistake, I have taken note of your complaint, and I don't think there's any need of, you know, reporting it on air or giving out number on air, because, of course, we need to verify everything, information as well, investigate every information, and then, of course, uh, I deal with it the right way. And I think the right uh, or point of start is, you know, your coordinator have to raise the matter, or your, you can raise it together with him he knows he has a superior of course the national coordinator you know the regional rep or whoever he can speak to and from there you can take it further ipob has a structure and that structure is what we follow in terms of a dispute resolution all right we must continue this is radio biafra sadek and of course nobody is getting this prize what is going on people i need somebody to get this i need somebody to get this please call in and of course give Give us your answer. Very, very important. Call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Hello, Mazi. Good morning, sir. Good morning from here, Mazi. Please go ahead. Uh, my name is Eze from uh, Zoo Country. I'm calling from Zoo Country. Yes, Mazi. Go ahead, Ndewu. Okay. I just want to appreciate your people for good work your people are doing. They want you like please, please don't permit me to ask ask something, please. Don't mind my English or please. No problem. Go ahead, Marzi. I won't do beke. I beg uh, I want a uh, okay for him. That man are doing a good job. I beg. If you know how you will take a uh, fish transmitter for our our land, I boy state uh, under uh Amofia. Okao, Okao, on our airborne states. Please, what on our airborne state, Okao. What do you want? What do you want him? I don't understand. What do you want from him? Can you please repeat again? Right. Please, I want. I, I want to know whether if he help us with the transmitter for airborne states under Amofia Okao, Eza. All right, uh, you know what you must do when you drop, send me a WhatsApp message on this number that you called, then I'll forward it to him. Maybe he will get back to you. All right, I beg, I will do, I will do that. I beg, please. All right, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, sir. So, thank you very much. Of course, we welcome that. We must continue. Our lines are very busy this morning. Of course, uh, we are still waiting for answers to the question of the day. When was Owere recaptured? What month and date was that? Of course, what year? And who was the major that led that assault, you know, to ensure that Owere was recaptured back from the zoo uh, army? Uh, unbelievable. All right, call on the line. If you must talk to us, you must turn off your radio, please. Can you hear me? Call on what's Hello. up? Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please turn off your radio or walk away from it. Walk away from your radio. But I can hear echo. I can hear echo. Uh, maybe maybe my phone is on my speaker. Let me check it. Uh, off my radio already. Please do check your phone because there's a lot of echo. Is it better now? Yes, it is. Go ahead and watch it. The whole world is listening. My ticket was to Tawa. Deo. 
This is the first time I'm calling on Rodney Biafra. Every time I try, I'm not getting so I'm a very lucky man today. I trust me, this is your year. I mean, in January, I'm my telling, goodness me. This is our year. One there, uh, that is the Aiga Wakashi. I want him to go ahead, please. My name is Hugo Chupi Kukemes. I'm from Omoma. Omoma is in the room by Saduka government of Anambra. I was born and brought up in Allah, but I'm a fool about my. I want to go to the Mazen Nam Bikalo, the Amadiko of Biafra. The man I see as the second Jesus Christ of, of Africa. The incorruptible leader of IPOD. The man that gives the zoo nightmare. At the mention of Nam Bikalo, the dead glory, the spirit cannot rest. Even the open the zoo cannot rest. The only man that has showed the people that we can be united and anything we try to do, we can do it. And I'm very sure that the Nam Bikalo Biafra is in our hands. Even Britain knows that. We are going home, Mazze. We are going home. Much. I told my mother that the way we are looking for the Afra, even if it goes into the point of harm, let's say I'm conflict. If I see you and my father in the side of the enemy, you are my first target. You understand? So we, as the way we are, we are not going back. Instead of us not to get the Afra, it is better than the heaven and earth pass by. That's the word of God because. He says that his word is going to pass, and his word means Biafra. Instead of the Biafra, because it's better than the whole heaven and earth pass away. That's what I want to say. I want to let every two member in Abba and all Biafra land, the food goes in diaspora. And you want to get the job you are doing is very marvelous because it's not everybody can come and there and like coordinate the program the way you are doing. It's not easy. So I want to coordinate you, and especially our incorruptible leader. Mazinam de Carlo, the nightmare of every evil person in Africa. And the man to liberate the whole black race. And thank you very much. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very much indeed. And we welcome that. Caller on Skype, can you hear me? Please go ahead. Good morning. There, we want to know. Hi, good morning. Yes, good morning from uh, here. Please go ahead. Good morning. My name is uh, Chiso Malanime. I'm a native of uh, Warren Court, but I'm residing in Douglas. They want to make a please go ahead. Warren Court is in is it in is on is in all right? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, of course, absolutely. Please go ahead. Okay, the um based on the question, the uh, question is uh, the answer is uh, April twenty fifth, nineteen sixty nine. And uh, the gen uh, the general Timothy Omwachi Joseph uh Achese Ugo Ugo Kanu Azu Azu Asoye all right yes i've heard your answer Mazi, and of course like i said you need to uh, keep listening at the end of the program and see if you are the winner thank you very much okay hey, Mazi, once once again hello Mazi. yes go ahead uh, i want to throw a little bit light uh, on uh, the great uh, the great fighter the tiger please go ahead we are listening uh, I, I happen to attend uh, his uh, secondary school in Amelia, the Tiger Memorial Secondary School. Hello? Yes. He's a great individual fighter. Go ahead, Mas. Just continue. We are listening. We are hearing you. Go ahead. Uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, I say I love him so much. I love his history. I love his history. And I happen to attend his, uh, one of his secondary schools in uh, Amelia. Amelia, yes, that's right. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Thank you very much. And of course, he is indeed a great warrior. And of course, we will forever cherish and remember him for a good patriotic, you know, citizen of Biafra that he is. All right, we must continue. This is Radio Biafra Sadek. We are the people of the East. And of course, the whole world is listening to Radio Biafra because on this platform, Radio Biafra is where we worship Chukwoki Ke Abiyama. Biafra is also our religion. All right, caller on WhatsApp, are you there? Can you hear me as we are rounding off? Caller on WhatsApp. Yes, I can hear you. They will please go ahead. Good morning, but my old side. How are you, sir? How are you, sir? 
Welcome. Hello to your family. How is your family, sir? We are well and you too, Marcy. Thank you. I I tried my possible best to get you yesterday. But to know as well, your land was very, very busy, honestly speaking. Uh, even uh, yesterday, uh, when your when your two sons uh, they were they, they were calling, trying to call you Onyara, Onyara. So, my lovely brother, let me quickly introduce myself before I ask you a question. Um, my my name is Ifani uh, Chuku Ebo. Ifani Chuku Ebo from Mbano. In Biafra land, and I live in Spain here, Madrid, the capital. And also, I am the deputy coordinator for the show, Zone 5 in San Cristobal. Let me to congratulate Zone 5, honestly speaking. They were so formidable, honestly. Zone 5, they are so formidable. God will bless Zone 5. So, as we get to go now, there, there is one man that came on the air here and was telling you that. Uh, um, they were holding a meeting, and a single person came to scatter their meeting, even though they are not. Now, you may make that man to come on air to say this. <laughs> Mas, <laughs> yes, Mas, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's unbelievable. When you when you got no phone, when you got no phone on air, you know. But honestly speaking, one single person can they still make a forest? Who will believe? Who will not put in the cry of the dead? If if they are on on this platform for this nonsense again. We disgrace you, honestly. I oh, will big, oh, a big blow to your, to your zone. But something can happen like you know, the man can't carry over. You better not do that for now. I got no sense to not here. Then what makes you to be an IPOB member? Are you not a formidable IPOB? When a single person to come and tell you what to do. This is a, a very, very bad, honestly speaking. Honestly speaking. I was mad when, when I heard about it. A single person came on a clan of people. Let the people what to do. Took to a extra note, took to say everything. He did not take from that. Now, for nonsense, which of you, he will take care. Poor pieces. If you not wear there because our enemy of someone to us, how much? How do to which of us? Idiots. So much. The church will now. God bless. That's exactly what I want to contribute this morning. May God bless in Jesus' name. Thank you. I bless you too. Thank you very much. We go. We go. We have come back. We go. Uh, a whole unit to make a meeting and somebody just came in and scattered the meeting, one person you know, with the weapon and on a, you came on air to come and complain to me that somebody came on air and scattered a meeting of the whole unit one person on a kuchipu yent alright, call on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yeah, Mazi. good morning yeah, well, good morning from here, please go ahead I want to commend you for a wonderful job you are doing for Bia Farms. Thank you very much. My name is um my name is Marz Emmanuel. I'm calling for Maka for visit Bia Land. All right. Marz, uh, do you know the answer to the question? Uh, let me just try. Uh, uh, I don't know. I do need to research. Go ahead. It's uh, March 31st. March 31st. Say it again? That the day is 31st of March. Moon is March. Okay. I'm listening. 1969. Go ahead. I'm listening. And the major that led the attack was um, Major Okugu Kalu. He is the head of the BF Division. All right, Mazi, I will have to ask you, like I tell other people, to keep listening. And, of course, at the end of the program, we'll know who's the winner. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, sir. There were. All right, uh, we must continue. Uh, people are really not getting the whole answer correct. They will get one part correct, and then, of course, the other one's wrong. And to order to, in order to win the prize, you need to get the whole question correct. You know, we try as much as we can to be fair here in the studio, you know, here on this platform because they say we are whiter than white and we are whiter than snow and that is absolutely correct. So if you must give me the answer, you must give it to me exactly the way it is. All right. We are almost at the end of today's program. It has been a great program indeed. But before we give you the correct answer, I think we will need to take a break. 
my goodness me the line is still buzzing and i don't know maybe i need to take one or two more calls before we call it a day call on whatsapp are you still there can you hear me they will Oh, I'm on there. Good afternoon the... here. Leo, good afternoon from here too. Your name's please. Where you my calling brother. From? Please go ahead. Um, um, um Mazi, I didn't get, I didn't get your name. I didn't, I didn't get your name, please. I didn't get your name. My name is Mazi EDK, man. EDK, man. Mazi EDK, man. Mazi EDK, man. All right. Hello? Yes, go okay. ahead. I can hear now. What I want to say, see, is this about this fire breaking? This fire breaking is something that I give him most of us heart, heart broken. Every, every year, we must experience fire breaking. Every year, we must experience fire breaking. People are coming to tell us it will not happen again, never again. Why they cannot say never again in when I was still five or four years or to go my market I don't know what to go our shop burned there more than two times I know what my father the experience as my father is in grave that market burning of market solo made my father to, to go to, to die because of the kind the kind of heartbroken he has that time after after buying goods from our nature back to, to, to the market will catch fire that very day the market will catch fire Mas more than three times Mas Mas, let me let Hello? me yeah, listen to me. Let me help you here. I am. I don't know how old you. I don't know how old you are. You could be older than me, or I could be older than you. But when I was still small, very very young, very very small, I started seeing men market on nature. <laughs> on fire so if you think you have seen it all i started seeing men market i know how old i am now but i started seeing men market go on fire when i was still young the problem is that now when abachakwoko will go and repair next year or next two years another one will happen without biafra you will never be secured your property will never be secured Uncle Ganaba and Oga Aposi until Biafra comes. Please go ahead. Now, now the 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 white white governor of River State has gone there has gone to Sokoto to go and donate money to go and donate money and that money will not even get to the hand of those traders. Most of this money are audio money. Most of this audio are audio money. People that will got BP will got BP. Please let our people learn to, to, to let every person come out to support Mazen Nandekano because here abroad, any any shopping mall you go, you will see fire service. The fire service are there. Every line you go, you will see fire service pipe. You will see the, 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 the firefighters are there. You will see their vehicle there. You will see insurance. Insurance are there to pay. It's not like that. These people are the people that are putting that fire. When they put that fire, they will come and do that. Their audio, audio, audio money. That their audio money. People that will die will die. Please let people come out and support Mazen and Carlo. Let this biafra come and let this suffer stop. Our people are jumping. The broad person back home, which day? Somebody that jumped from Kondo in Indonesia. This is how our people are jumping. A, a man of 28 years will marry a 60 years old woman just to get paper. Just to get paper. Somebody from somebody from 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 from, from Singapore, you you we get we, they are begging him to to get to take visa. But if you get visa in Nigeria, it's a miracle. You will go to church to go and give uh, to give thanksgiving to give testimony as a miracle. Which time went to get visa take the miracle because of that green green passport is. Is, is tissue paper, more or less tissue paper. People come up, let's support it, let's support Biafra, let Biafra come. Then we will have rest. People will stop. All right, Mazi, thank you very much. State. Thank you very much, Mazi. I think we get your comment, you're making a good sense. But of course, unfortunately, I'm just going to be blunt and honest with you. The fire will never stop. Never. It will never stop. Unfortunately, and as, as, as long as we continue to be stubborn, 
of course we'll be losing or la like that you cannot tell me that you want to have a good life in nigeria you cannot tell me that you want to have a, a, a secured life in the zoo called nigeria it's highly impossible if you want security if you want a land whereby there will be no fire engulfing on your goods and your products you need to embrace biafra because biafra is the only thing that will guarantee that your goods are secured that your market are secured biafra will build taps they will ensure that fire extinguishers are there you're even talking about fire extinguisher who uses fire extinguisher you know for evil I'm asking, who uses fire extinguisher in overseas? Here I am in South Africa. What is fire extinguisher? That is rubbish. In every home in South Africa, there is what you call automatic fire water. You know, it is there in your, in your ceiling. You will see it there in your roof. Automatic fire quencher. Once it reaches to a certain temperature, it will trigger on and, and water will start splashing from, from top. And, and, and quench the fire automatically. The same things are also in their mall everywhere. So these are the things that we will build inside beer fry. All the market will have this automatic water, you know, sprayers. They will be on the rooftop. Once there is fire, it will sense the temperature. Actually, it works with smoke. It is a smoke dictator. Once it uh, um, dictates a smoke, even if it's a false alarm, there is no fire. But once it smells smoke, it will open up and the floodgate of water will start pouring out. So tell me, how would there be fire in our market? We are enjoying life in Egypt and we think that Egypt is where we will find peace. But unfortunately, there is no peace um, in Egypt. There is no peace in Egypt until we go to the promised land, which is Biafra. Because we are living in a country with animals. We are living in a country with animals. Full and these are animals. They are not human beings. You cannot live in a country with such animals called full and knee. And then, of course, you expect, you expect that you are going to live a good life. It is highly impossible. It is highly impossible. It is not going to work. So, the, the earlier we embrace Biafra, the better. The earlier we embrace the truth, the fact that Biafra is the only thing that will give us hope. That Biafra is the only place, our place of refuge. Then, of course, we will no longer complain. Every time, complain, 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 complain. We have been known now as complainants. My goodness me. That is why that woman came on live TV and told the Ibus that we complain too much. And she's not lying. She's not lying. We know what to do. We know the right thing to do. And that right thing is Biafra. But yet, we will not do it. And yet, we go and complain. Who are you complaining to, Fulani? Are they your brother? Are they your blood? Unbelievable. All right, of course, we must continue. It is Radio Biafra Sadek. We are the people of the East. Tomorrow, our Supreme Leader Mazen Lam Dekano will be live. He will be direct on Radio Biafra and all platforms, even on his Facebook platform. So, endeavor, endeavor to tune in tomorrow morning. Of course, it's going to be a question and answer. 9 a.m. Biafra Land Time. You don't want to miss it for any other thing. I will take a quick break. When I return, I will tell you the answer to the question. It is breakfast with Mazi K. Chukwanoha. Manasini here, we're going to be there. We're going to be on Kocha. Of course, we have come to the end of this program, but not without giving you the answer to our quiz this morning. I ask you this morning, you know, Owera was captured by the, uh, uh, by the zoo army during the Nigerian Civil War. And then, of course, Biafra recaptured the town back from the zoo army. And that is to show you how gallant our men and women were during those days days they were not taking no prisoners and of course i ask you what month did this happen what date what year and of course who was the major that led the assault of course on the recapturing back of Oweri from the zoo army a lot of people came in, came in and gave me answers they got one out of many you know correct but what i wanted is you to give me the whole answers correct so here is the answer for the question of the day when Biafra was declared independent on May 13, 1967, Ojuku made Major Onwa Twegu 
he made him a major in his army. On what we didn't see much action until March 1969, when he was put in charge of the Biafran 8th Division, in charge of recapturing Oweri from the Nigerian army. And this happened, listen, on March 15, 1969. The major was Major Onwa Tuegu. So the answer is simply March 15, 1969. Major Onwa Tuegu is the one that led the assault and recaptured Oweri back from the zoo. Unfortunately, nobody got the answer correct and we are going to roll it away. We are not going to carry it forward. When we come back next time, we will bring a brand new question. Alright, so we must continue. Yesterday, somebody won. Today, nobody got it right. Let's hopefully coming back that we will have a winner. And we are going to we have already trying to send, you know, the price for the person who won yesterday to them and once we send the price to them we will of course bring them on air you know so that people will know that what we are doing is open that it is not why you because we are beer friends and i to ask you, anything we do we do it in the open please please tomorrow tune in in the morning nine o'clock our leader will be live and direct on radio biafra on every platform that is known to man and of course you will catch him live and direct you can prepare your question because it is question and answer and you will Ask your question and you will get the answer that you are looking for. All right, before we close, let me tell you why getting Biafra has become like a big issue. Getting Biafra has become so much not that easy and simple. Getting Biafra has become that difficult and complicated. Let me tell you why. My brother, my sister, <laughs> if you know the people that are made up in that place called Biafra, if you know the DNA components of people in Biafra, you will understand the fear of the world. Biafra is more like atomic energy, atomic bomb in the form of human. Biafra is like atomic energy in form of human manpower. What Biafra will accomplish what Biafra will accomplish, just first year of independence, will marvel the whole world. What Biafra will accomplish, just the first year of independence, will marvel the whole world. But make no mistake, nothing can stop Biafra. Nothing can stop the restoration of Biafra. It doesn't matter what they do or how they do it. Biafra must be restored in our own time. On this note, I want to say a very warm thank you to all our listeners this morning and all the people who have made this program a worthwhile. I want to thank Wada uh, Emmanuel Chisum and Biafra for the news. And of course, I want to thank our sponsors this morning for the, pro, for the, for the um, quiz that we had this morning, as well as Biafrans all around the world who has been listening, who has been calling in. We appreciate you all. Thank you for coming for to breakfast. And I bet you enjoy the breakfast. We will be back again soon. And of course, from me, Mazike Chukwonoha, I say have a wonderful weekend. And from me, I say may God bless our leader. May God bless Biafra all around the world. May God bless our nation, Biafra. From me, together we all shall see Biafra. Good day and God bless Biafra.